Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Let's turn this light on. It's looking a little grainy. Let's see if this will help. There, I think that's better. Okay. Oh, my white hair is showing. <laughs> yes, I have a few. They're way up there on the top. Depends on the light. You don't always see them. <laughs> Okay, well, I've got a great little message to bring. It, well, it's a word from the Lord given to somebody I never heard of. So you always use discernment when it's someone you don't know or trust. It's called, now this is all one word, until that glorious day. That's uh, the name they go by. And the title given to it is a word for my bride December 18th of 2020 808 p.m. Now, I got it yesterday morning and this is in a letter from Dawn dated December 19th okay this morning December 18th 2020 I saw a vision of a mighty warrior on a war horse his sword was drawn, and he and the horse had armor and were ready for battle. I knew it was Jesus, and I prayed for a word. My dear, this is quotes, my dear, my queen, my bride, you have been tested and tried. You have been forged in the fire. You have endured with patience the pressing down, the trials of your soul. Now you are tired and weary. What are you doing? That's my Bible. You leave it alone. You get in your bed. You leave my Bible alone. I'm not kidding. Sorry about that. Okay, it says, now you are tired and weary. Boy, aren't we all. You have little strength. Prepare to see what I do for my own. Prepare for the reward of the righteous. For many years you have trodden underfoot as you spoke my words. For many years you have been treated as a lump of coal. Kicked to the side and little valued by those who claim to be my church. Boy, that's the truth. Oh, Jasper, don't touch the computer. Now I say, get ready to see what I have for my faithful servants. I will war for you. I will pour honor on you. I will pour glory on you and on all my faithful saints who have not bent their knee to this world. All will see the separation of the righteous from the wicked. They will see what I have seen in the lonely places. Then I saw a bride. That was un and then unquote. Then I saw a bride similar to one from India, the way Indian brides have many jewels on. Quote, now this is the Lord giving her another message. My bride will be clothed in splendor unimaginable. She will be revealed as glorious. I have formed her through the trials. Now she will be adorned with jewels and spun gold and no amount of expense will be withheld from her because she has fought the good fight. She has given her all and I will pour on her the finest treasures and no hurt will come to her. Of course you know, pause, the her is just because a bride is normally thought of as a her, 
but of course it consists of all the men who have gone through the trials and tribulations and stayed faithful. So rather than Jesus saying him and her, him and her, he just calls the bride her. I know the men will be adorned just as handsomely. Their tuxedos will probably be spun silk. I can just imagine their ties, whatever kind of tie you might wear will be spun gold. You'll probably have cufflinks with huge diamonds. I mean, whatever kind of jewelry men wear. You won't be left out, I know that. All right, he goes on to say, um, I will pour out on her the finest treasures and no hurt will come to her. Watch and see what I will do. Watch and be stunned, my faithful church, as I lift you up and carry you away from this troubled world. I will carry you to the house I have prepared for you. And so, for iron, I'll give you silver. And for brass, I'll give you gold. Then I saw a woman, like one from the old Bible times. She is in a tent and was lying down on pillows, but waiting and listening. She hears something and runs to the tent opening and opens the flap to bright sunlight. Quote, Behold, I come. Unquote. And that's the end of this, the message. Behold, I come. So I plead the blood of Jesus over this beautiful message, video, and over each and every one of us and our devices and our internet connections and with that i'll say bye for now i'll talk to you later